when I was going to prep school, when I went down there, it was good. The basketball wise was great, and the school wise was great, but my living condition wasn't really, it wasn't really good. I didn't have no hot water, no heat. My living environment was definitely not good at all. And I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't expect no teenager to go through that what I went through. But it was definitely a humble experience. I, mean, I grew up as a man. A lot of obstacles. You know, I know it only made me a stronger man. So what's some of the goals you got now that, you know, you're back in New York City, you're at Jefferson, you know, how you feeling about that? Well, I feel, I feel very great right now. I feel this is my senior year and I'm feeling doing big things this year. The uh, reason why I chose Jefferson because Jefferson is always known for a winning program and getting their kids into college and as well as a great academic school. I think this year we, we have a great strong team. We could win the city championship and the state. And I said, and the state. I'm not looking forward, I'm looking forward to get two, trying to make history. And, you know, what you doing to prepare yourself? Yeah, I've been in the gym every day, jogging every day, getting in better shape every day as soon as possible. And I feel great. This, like I said, this is my senior year. You only can go hard. You only have one chance. God give you one chance. So you have to go hard every day. Okay, okay. You feel you got something to prove this year? Oh, most definitely. I have, I have a lot to prove this year. Not only to New York, but for the whole country. I mean, to me, I feel I feel I am the number one point guard in New York. I'm not saying enough enough cocky, but I, I have great confidence. And I've just I played a lot of people in New York City in the country, and I held my own. I'm still working hard in the gym every day, so mm. only God can handle that. Nah, the only thing I do is play, and you're earning. Yes, sir. All you gotta do is look up to the man upstairs and give him praise every day, and he'll handle the rest. Back in New York City, well motivated. My goal is to get a 3.5, and I'll start studying for tutor for the SAT prep next week. So you know, like I said, I'm gonna be studying, working hard, and looking up to the man upstairs, and everything will be great. Just got that work in, feeling good. I go give me a cut now. They wanna see you do good. Just so much better than now. But me, I'm so better than now. Me, I'm so better than now. They wanna see you do good. Just so much better than now. But me, I'm so better than now. Me, I'm so better than now. Yeah, me, I'm so better than now. I'm trying to get out of the hood. They say they wanna see me win. They wanna see you do good. Just so much better than now. Start a fight. 
fresh haircut, always got to stay clean. Always got to keep a good image. I'm about to go to the store on base, you know, where I get my clothes at all the time. That's my guy right there. If you ever want to get some clothes, man, 161 home base, that's where it's at. You know, I always come here, you always show me love, my family love. I've been going here since I was a young kid. So, you know, I always show them love in here. These are packed out here, Yankee game today. That's where I come when I need my outfit, man. I need that, like I said, come home, baby. 161. Can't have a fresh cut with no clean skin here. That's fine. Now you grabbing me. <laughs> Now my birthday Saturday. What you got me? Ah, what you got me? My birthday was last week. <laughs> he quiet now. He asked me what I get him, but he ain't gonna get me nothing. Some sweater. Give me some shoes. I just do it, man. You're ready, man. I sit back it up. You're ready, all right? Yes, you like these three? I'm not on work. All right, my G, you're ready. Stay up, man. Let's be ready, man. Let's go. 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 So my family grew up, my, my father, my uncle, grandmother, everybody grew up. Rest in peace to my two uncles that died, I do everything for them. I never met them. So you know, gotta do it for them. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? So you know, I just gotta do it for them, that's why I stick to school and basketball. I want to stay, I want my parents and my grandmother to stay here. I want to see, I want to put, my, put a smile on my grandmother's face. She went through way too much. My family went through way too much. I just want to put a smile on their face. And I think I had a chance to do it. I always got to come back, show love. But I want my grandmother to be my father, my mother. I want them all to be happy. To make them happy is go to school and play basketball. Get a free scholarship. So they won't have to pay. If I do that, I accomplish my goals. And if I even make even more, I even more, even more better. Look out for me, J. Carl McKenna. It's episode one. Stay tuned. Jefferson Basketball City Championship. State Championship. Look out, because I'm coming.